When I finally get it into people's hands, why do people get so inspired and excited and fall in love with Magpie? Uh, the story itself is Imogen's. It's the night that gives birth to this great philanthropic woman. But Magpie himself is this hero of hope. He is a slave to his compassion. In this era of Trump, where it's all about money, 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 and negative gearing, and renovating your kitchen, Magpie owns nothing. He, uh, uh, you know, he's even homeless. Nobody even knows he's homeless because he doesn't want the other people to worry about him. He, he just has nothing. All he does is cares. He's like a slave to his compassion. But underneath that, we see that in that song of his, he feels like he doesn't have the tools to help. He can't bring about change. He's, he's been born with the want to help and not the tools. And so he feels very frustrated. There's a part in the film or in the script where he actually tells Imogen that he thinks the only person he's been managed to help is her, one of the richest girls in the country, because she's feeling fantastic being on the streets, because she's free. Because she's as lonely and as trapped as he is, but she's trapped by wealth, and he's trapped by the frustration that he can't change his environment though he wants to. And so when he dies, right after they've got this love affair and the two lovers together, Romeo and Juliet sort of stuff, when he dies, and he dies at the hand of the father, John King, John King is kind of us. It's, he's symbolic of our world. Think of me, think of... He destroys this good thing. And that's what hurts. More than just Magpie dying, more than just the love affair not going on. This lovely thing has been discovered by the rich and he's been destroyed. Uh, but then, at the end of the piece, he came back. Because when Imogen sung that song on the bridge and convinced him they could work, he got into her heart. The song says, open your heart. And he got in. So he gets into her heart on this one night, just on the bridge, just before he dies. And at the end, he's singing to her. She can't hear him, but right at the end, she senses he's there. Are you, are you here? She senses he's there. And he says, whenever you need me, just look into your heart. You know, he's there. He made it, and they can't take him away anymore. He, uh, he won. In, in, in a way. Uh, and this is the beauty of Magpie, plus the fact that it's suitable for family, you can bring your grandmother, you can bring your kids, it's got a lot of dancing, a lot of this, it's set in Australia, but it could be set anywhere in the world, this could be a Bollywood film, this could be a Chinese film, you know, you could go to uh, an isolated island with this, I know there's some isolated tribes that never see human beings and they could have a version of it. It's, it's global story. Makes you laugh, makes you cry, makes you do all these things, but ultimately it's selling hope in a world where a lot of young people don't feel it. And that's what's important about Magpie. And that's why I think it, it, it can be made. And, uh, and I am gonna make it. Uh, so if I have your help as an executive producer, fantastic, but otherwise I'll still get it up. But saying that with your help would be really fantastic. Uh, I hope you read it. I hope you can pick up on the magic of it. Thanks.